hello everyone uh, welcome back so in one of the previous videos we have seen the use of a ping command so it is used to check whether your system is able to communicate with a remote system or not so let's see the use of ping command on how to troubleshoot uh, some problems okay so and i am going to the end devices i am going to bring a pc and also i am going to network devices and i am going to bring a uh, switch and again i am going to end devices this time i am going to bring a server okay so let's connect uh, these devices together so let's use a patch cable okay most other net and from switch to server okay now all the three devices are connected uh, and let's go to the pc and assign some ip address go to desktop uh, click on ip configuration let's give a class c ip address 192.168.1.1 okay close it and let's go to server again in the desktop tab go to ip configuration and let's give 192.168.1.2 okay and so this is a simple scenario uh, this is a lam uh, which contains two devices one is pc0 and uh, i mean one is pc and another one is server okay so just imagine there is a lam where there are uh, let's say 30 or 40 pcs and there is a server and the, what, what does this server do is it it hosts a website okay so there are some web pages on this server so let's see those web pages so if you go to the services tab there are several services which can be enabled on the server so one of these services is http so here are the http details so you can see the server is hosting uh, four html pages and a uh, image okay jpg means it's a image file and there are four uh, web pages which are html pages so if you want to edit the page you can click on edit so you can change this uh, matter if you want and you click on save okay right mm. okay so and if you see here the service is actually on http is on and https is also on. now what we can do is let's say we are sitting at the pc and let's go to a web browser and let's give the ip address of the server so that you can see the website okay 192.168.1.2 this is the ip address of the server and once you click on go so this is the index.html you are seeing okay so this web page is coming from the server from here right so there is no problem um, actually everything is working fine now what i am doing is i am go i am the server administrator so i am going to the server and i am turning off the http and https service i mean the protocols okay now again the user is coming to the pc and he is opening the browser and again giving the ip address of the server 1.2 and clicking on go right now there is a problem so the web page is not loading right so it is saying request timeout so there is some problem so how to trouble uh, so how to troubleshoot this problem so one way is let's try to go to the command prompt on the pc and use the ping command to see whether our pc can communicate with the server or not so server's ip address is 192.168.1.2 oh so my pc is actually communicating with the server all right so uh, from my previous video uh, you should remember that ping command belongs to icmp protocols and icmp protocol belongs to layer 3 which is network uh, network layer so up to network layer there is no problem okay so the ip addresses are working fine mac addresses are working fine and also the physical connections are fine so what is the problem is mm, 
uh, it is the problem with application layer. So if you see HTTP and HTTPS are application layer protocols. Okay, so the service is actually down on the server. That's why you are not able to use this HTTP, I mean the HTML web pages. Uh, you know that HTTP protocol is used to transfer web pages, right? So if the service is not available, you will not be able to see this web pages. So what we can do is we can turn on the service. Okay. Now go to the web browser on the PC. Now you can view the one uh, IP address of the server. Click on go and you can now see the web page, right? So this is how you can troubleshoot uh, some problems using ping command. Okay, so once you know that uh, ping is actually able to um, get back the replies from the server, there is something wrong in the upper layers above the network layer. Okay, it might be transport layer or it might be some problem in the application layer with the service, right? So that's it for this session. Thank you.